There's another £25 up for grabs on the starting 11 app this weekend. Simply enter the FPL Tips Mini League and select a team of 11 players from this Saturday's matches. It's completely free to enter and the league is public and open to all via the Browse Games menu. Or alternatively, you can enter using the code on screen now. Game Week 22 got off to a rough start when Fabianski was forced off with a recurrence of his hip injury after just 40 minutes against Sheffield United. Leicester really seemed to miss the injured Ndidi as they suffered defeat to Southampton, conceding four big chances to their opponents, with only Aston Villa allowing more during the game week. Madison saw his late assist ruled out by VAR, but the move to bring in Richarlison for Deli Alli got off to a great start after the Brazilian took his goal well to earn Everton the win over Brighton. Vardy failed to record a shot against Southampton, but provided a perfect cross to set up the Foxes' opening goal. Dabravka somehow denied Jimenez a headed goal from very close range, but Abraham netted his 13th of the season in Chelsea's 3-0 win over Burnley. A score of 56 points was just below average, and saw a sizeable drop in rank down from 53,000 to 65,000. The plan was to save the free transfer this game week, with a view to bringing in either Robertson or Salah with two moves next game week. However, with Fabianski facing a couple of weeks on the sidelines, Southampton goalkeeper Alex McCarthy has come in with the free transfer this game week. Saints have improved defensively of late, as discussed in this week's watchlist episode, and that move also has the benefit of freeing up funds. It will mean spending four points to bring in the third Liverpool asset next game week. But assuming Fabianski misses the next two game weeks, McCarthy only really needs to return two points per game to break even. We've got one final week to assess which Liverpool player to bring in, and here's how the team is shaping up for game week 23. McCarthy begins his run in the side by welcoming Wolves, who've only managed five goals in the last four game weeks, despite earning ten big chances. Southampton remain undefeated in their last five matches, and have conceded just three goals in that time. Alexander-Arnold faces a very hit-and-miss Man United side, who scored just once in their last four trips to Anfield in all competitions. Soyuncu is up against a Burnley side that have mustered up just three goals in the last six game weeks, with only Bournemouth managing fewer. Arsenal will be without the suspended Aubameyang for the meeting with Sheffield United, boosting Lundstrom's chances of a clean sheet. The Blades have kept three clean sheets in the last six game weeks, with only four teams shipping fewer than their five goals conceded. It's difficult to find space for Catmull in the starting 11, despite Norwich hosting a struggling Bournemouth side. Madison has just one return in the last six game weeks, but he's up against a Burnley side that have suffered four consecutive defeats. They rank joint seventh worst with a total of eight goals conceded in that time, while only four teams have allowed opponents more big chances. De Bruyne has found a return in five of the last six game weeks, amassing three goals and six assists over that period, to average 8.8 .8 points per game. Crystal Palace are one of only four teams who failed to keep a clean sheet during the same time frame, and they rank seventh worst with a tally of 11 big chances conceded. Mane has returned points in each of Liverpool's last four home matches, amassing three goals and three assists, to average 10 points per game. Man United have conceded in 10 of their 11 away matches this season, shipping a total of 15 goals on the road. Over the last four game weeks, Richarlison has stepped up with two goals and one assist to cement his place alongside Calvert-Lewin in attack under Carlo Ancelotti. Only Salah has fired more than his 11 goal attempts in that time amongst midfielders, while only Mane and Martial can better his five efforts on target. Vardy has failed to return points in just one of his last 12 league appearances, and faces a Burnley side that is struggling for form. The Foxes have only scored six goals in the last four game weeks, with four teams managing more, but they rank third best with a total of 23 shots on target. It's been a disappointing couple of weeks for Raul Jimenez. Despite ranking top amongst forwards for big chances created this season, he's failed to register a single attempted assist in his last two outings but he's played a hand in 50% of the goals Wolves have scored in the last six game weeks, with two goals and two assists. Abraham has netted two goals in the last three game weeks, with only Jesus and Ings firing more than his 11 shots inside the box. 
Chelsea faced a Newcastle side struck down by a number of defensive injuries, and only Aston Villa have conceded more goals in the last six games. It's shaping up to be a battle between Vardy and De Bruyne for captaincy once again, but Man City have looked the much stronger attacking force over the last four games. They've scored 12 goals compared to Leicester's six in that time, with De Bruyne playing a hand in five of those himself. So it's hard to look past the consistency of the Belgian creator for Crystal Palace's visit to the Etihad this weekend.